Hello, I'm Dr. Ken Landa. Let's talk about Prevagen. Prevagen is a substance that's considered a supplement that you can use to supposedly help prevent or treat Alzheimer's disease and memory loss. You can buy it in any one of more than 30,000 retail outlets or you can get it on the internet. It's produced by a company known as Quincy Biosciences that considers themselves the leader in the brain supplement industry. It was launched as Prevagen in 2007. The company is considered one of the fastest growing corporations in the United States. It was founded in 2004 by Mark Underwood and Michael Beeman. And the Prevagen is supposedly a unique brain health supplement that's unlike any other supplement on the market for brain health. And it supposedly is going to lead to clearer thinking, sharper thinking. It's hyped as a brain vitamin that supposedly is good for learning and recall and short-term memory. And if you're an athlete who's been injured, repeated head trauma, well, it supposedly is going to help you too. It's supposed to protect and preserve the brain, but the government says, you know, I think you're advertising this as a drug because after all, if it's going to prevent disease or treat disease, treat Alzheimer's disease, then it's got to be a drug. And the patient has to be able to self-diagnose and the government says that requires a drug application, investigational new drug, and it requires some research. But the company says, no, 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 that's not true because read the small print. We have a disclaimer. We say that the FDA has not evaluated the statements on the label that say how great it's going to be and anyway, it says on the label that the product is not meant to diagnose, treat, mitigate, or even prevent any kind of disease. Now, supposedly, it works, the substance in it works by binding to calcium, and supposedly, it's calcium binding material that helps prevent the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Well, are there any studies? Supposedly, there have been, and the company says that we have lots of good studies, and in fact, they quote several. One of them looked at about 220 people. The people were asked, hey, how's your memory? And if you said that, well, it's a little bit off, then you were in the study. You took the Prevagen or placebo for a period of time. And afterward, they said, hey, how's your memory again? And supposedly the people taking the Prevagen did better than the people who were taking the placebo. It sounds like it's a really legitimate study, the effect of calcium binding protein on memory and cognitive function in adults. But it was really a lousy study. It was written by Mark Underwood, the guy who is the president of the company. It's not a scientific paper. It hasn't been in any peer-reviewed medical journals. There's no randomization that's been published, whether the people were smokers or non-smokers, high blood pressure, whether they had diabetes or trauma or kidney disease. The terms are ill-defined. There's no methodology of it, and it has not been independently verified. They have some other studies showing that it supposedly is good on your quality of life, and it's good on helping you sleep. But again, those studies aren't any more scientific than the first one. The company says that experts, independent experts, have looked at the substance and they have found it safe and they found it as a substance that could be generally regarded as safe as a food ingredient. Well, the compound was originally discovered in 1962. It was in a certain type of jellyfish, the Aquaria victoria, that's the crystal jellyfish found up in Puget Sound. And supposedly the substance, which is an amino acid, a protein, binds to calcium and then becomes immunofluorescent. And somehow the company has gone from that to saying that the substance will prevent Alzheimer's disease. Well, it's important to realize that they didn't want to go and destroy all the jellyfish, so now they're using recombinant DNA technology, so it's not even a product of nature, it's a product of a laboratory. You can buy the substance either in 10 milligram, 20 milligram, or 40 milligram capsules, and they started marketing it. But soon thereafter, the Food and Drug Administration said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're selling a drug and you don't have any application for this. And we know you're selling a drug because you say on your website, you say in the Facebook that the substance is going to treat and prevent disease, even though you say, well, read the fine print. And as a matter of fact, the Fed said that by 2012, 
there were more than a thousand side effects and you didn't report any of them to the government that you're required to do side effects like seizures and strokes and worsening of multiple sclerosis, but the company said, hey, they're not really related to the drug at all. And anyway, we reported two of them. Well, several years later, they had more than 2,200 side effects, side effects like chest pain and tremor and headache and fainting, nausea and vomiting, anxiety, confusion, other serious side effects. But again, the company says, mm, not really related. Well, is the substance independently verified as legitimate? Well, a principal investigator for an Alzheimer's Disease Institute says that there's no evidence that the substance does any good. The director of the memory clinic at a Madison, Wisconsin Veterans Administration hospital says instead of taking Prevagen, he'd recommend that you go out and just buy a gym membership. A neuroscientist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, again, home territory for the company, says it's probably quackery, and a doctor at Columbia University says that there's absolutely no scientific evidence to suggest that Prevagen is any good. And as a matter of fact, there was a class action suit filed in 2015 against the company saying that the amount of protein that's uh, in the substance is not really significant enough to make any impact and that there's no evidence that the protein survives digestion in the stomach and the upper intestine and there's no evidence that it does any good. Well, it's very important to realize that you have about 750,000 percent more protein, more amino acids, in your diet than you do when you take 10 milligrams of Prevagen. So totally insignificant amount. And as a matter of fact, there have been suits suggesting that there's false and mislabeling claims in advertising. And since it's produced scientifically, it's not really a dietary supplement. The federal government, the Food and Drug Administration, very unhappy with all the health claims, the lack of research, and the fact that the substance is synthetic in any way. Jellyfish aren't a significant part of the diet, so how can you say it's a dietary supplement? Now, the company also, according to the government, has failed to comply with current good practice, good manufacturing practices. They don't have any testing of the batches, and they fail to have written codes and procedures to make certain that they're appropriate in their manufacturing. And as a matter of fact, there has been no research on whether the substance contains any adulterants. Well, it's important to realize if you want to retard the development of Alzheimer's disease, you can do certain things. One is you can lead an active lifestyle, get some exercise, have a heart-healthy diet. That's very important. Don't smoke, don't drink too much, and make sure you control your blood pressure. If you do that, then you're going to live a long, happy life according to your genes. Well, it's important to realize the substance isn't cheap. It costs anywhere between 40 and about $60 a month. It's estimated that sales of Prevagen have been in excess of 2 million bottles since 2007. So the company's making an awful lot of money. The problem is that the people who are taking the drug, taking the compound, the problem is that the people who are believing the advertising may be flummoxed. There is no evidence that Prevagen delivers what it claims to deliver, at least according to all currently available scientific evidence. And if there were legitimate studies, by the way, they would have to be registered through the government clinicaltrials.gov. That's the law if you have a randomized controlled trial. And as a matter of fact, there are none for Prevagen. Anyway, save your money. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Ken Landau.